Cups, it's Chanel Lavoisier. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be DIYing glitter wine glasses. I do have two different variations. I have a tall wine glass and two short ones. We're going to make these a bride and groom glitter glass and this one just a regular glitter wine glass. So you can maybe gift it for a girlfriend or to give to someone for an event, whatever have you. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the design. All you're going to need is some Mod Podge, glitter of your choice, some scotch tape. I'm using scotch, but I probably would suggest using painter's tape, the blue tape. It probably would adhere a lot better for this DIY. I don't have any at the moment, so we're going to go ahead and use some scotch tape. A small paintbrush. A paper plate so that you can place your glitter and your um, Mod Podge on there. So let's get started. First off, what you're going to do is take one of your smaller glasses and I'm going to use the Mod Podge and in cursive we're going to write the name Bride on the first glass here. So apply some Mod Podge to your paper plate, dip your paintbrush in there. And in cursive, try to center it as best as possible. Go ahead and write bride. Now, my Podge does dry pretty fast, so if you feel like your adhesive is drying up, go ahead and add your glitter. So I have my letter B. I'm gonna go ahead and add my glitter just so it won't dry up. This is going to be so cute. Shake off the excess and go with the back of the, the, the bottom of the paintbrush and make your lines a little bit more defining so you can be able to recognize what the letters are. Blow off the excess and there's my letter B. Okay, go ahead and do the rest of the letters the same way. Okay, so there's the glass with the word bride on the front of it. It's so cute already, right? Go ahead and apply the same technique to your second glass with the word groom. Here's the groom's glass after we've added the word groom to the front of this one and then you have your bride's glass. It's definitely preferable on the next step. I'm going to go ahead and apply masking tape or whatever tape that you want to the bottom of my glasses and I'm going to put a bottom line of glitter on the bottom of these. This is definitely optional but that's the next step that we're going to take. Take some more Mod Podge and apply the same technique. Set that aside and apply the same technique to your groom's glass. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna let those sit aside for a few minutes before they dry, then I'll remove the tape. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do our glitter design for the wine glass. All right guys, so for your glitter wine glass, you're gonna take some more tape. Yes, I found my painter's tape. So you're gonna take some tape and wrap it around. I'm gonna just do the middle section with glitter and the bottom. So put it in a desired area and make sure that the line is as straight as it could be. Okay, so add your bottom layer of tape. Now I'm going to add another row up top and we'll put the glitter in the middle. Go ahead and take some Mod Podge and a paintbrush and apply it to your glass. Once you've applied the Mod Podge, go ahead and take your glitter and apply it to your glass. Shake off the excess. Okay. And I'm going to apply some glitter from the stem to the bottom of the glass as well. and add your glitter. Allow these to dry for a few minutes and I'll come back, take the tape off and show you the final design. And here's the finished product. They turned out really, really good. Here's the bride and the groom glasses after I remove the tape. Be sure to go back and clean them up with any leftover residue from the tape or the glue with some window cleaner or alcohol. And here's the wine glass. So pretty, it turned out amazing. This will be great for a girlfriend's gift, for a wedding event, or any of your celebratory events. Have a good one.